Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is a stock trade ideas video for Sunday, August 10th, 2014. We're going to take a look at three trade ideas we've been in, uh, three more we're going to look at uh, to try to get in tomorrow morning, and then three more that we're watching uh, for the week. Okay, so that's nine. We're going to start off with Curate Green Mountain. Uh, we've been in this now for a couple of several weeks, uh, I'm trying to remember where we got in. I think we actually got in here on the 17th um right in here and you know it wasn't we didn't buy uh we didn't buy calls we bought bought puts i guess okay yeah we, we've got puts i thought that was an arrow up and that's a one okay so what i'm doing is i'm, I'm thinking we've got we're in a corrective mode here on curry green mountain just so everybody kind of remembers i think we've got five waves up and we are in a fifth major impulse wave okay so I think we're in a five of five, and that means we are topping out. And so therefore, I think we've got a zigzag A down here and a B pullback, kind of a flat, pulling back to the beginning of A. And now I think we're rolling over. And I honestly think this is going to go down and least test um, the A, the distance to A. And you can see that it's broken this trend line in here. And this is a trend line from November. So that's a good sign. Uh, we've been down several days in a row. I guess it wouldn't surprise me. I think what's going to happen is we're either going to get a little bounce, maybe a pullback up to the neckline or something, or we're going to really break. Uh, and you just don't know, you know. And, and right now I'm staying with the trend, and that's uh, that's where way we're going to play it. I mean, I've got September 105s, which are out of the money, and you know I'm a little underwater with them actually right now because they've been sucking the time premium on me. And uh, but, you know, right now I'm going to continue playing with it and I've got a stop that is going to allow me and the details are on the trade ideas web page. It's going to allow me to ride this down if it continues to go just the way that did here. And just, you know, it, it does it. If it gets some momentum going, you can see how you can ride for several weeks if you have the right kind of stop. So we're going to see if we can take this for a ride. All right, the next one we're going to look at is U.S. Steel. Now, this one has been a really nice trade. We got in it right around in here. Uh, I think it was on a two, somewhere in here. And it got this nice pop with the earnings, and it's really strong. We got out of half, I got out of less than half, actually, 8 out of 18. We still got 10, and they're 28 strike price. So these are rolling along very nicely. And I'm going to see if we can't continue to ride this. Again, this is one of those I wouldn't be surprised to get a little pullback in here. But, uh, you know, the bigger picture on U.S. Steel, as we've talked about, is I think we've got a big, big major head and shoulders bottom. I think we have wave one up, intermediate wave two, ABC pullback. And we are in wave three, which is usually the strongest of the major impulse waves. So we are actually in minor wave three of three. So not surprising that we got this big gap and that we're getting this strong move. And um, we'll see. I think what I'm projecting here, so measuring one, a, a normal wave three would go to 47. OK, that's a normal wave three. We'll see if we continue to track the waves in this in this wave in here. Uh, so. We're going to continue to ride U.S. Steel, looking very good right now. Okay, the next one is Candy Technologies. Candy Technologies, we got in at around 1810 on this day. Uh, it stalled out a little bit. Actually, it got within, my initial target was 20. I was going to sell half the position at 20 and see if we couldn't ride. It literally got within 13 cents of 20. So that was very frustrating on Friday. I thought I was going to be exiting. But um, so now uh, we've just I've adjusted the stop and I'll put the, you know, I'll adjust that on. I haven't done it on the trade ideas web page yet, but I will do it today. It's, it's around midday on Sunday or 11 o'clock on Sunday morning here in Dallas area. So we're um, we're still tracking in here. We'll see if we can get a push. Uh, as I've mentioned before, my only concern is that this turns into a double top and this comes down. So that's why I'm trying to adjust a stop in here. Uh, but right now, all the moving averages, everything is aligned to the high side. And so we're going to see if it'll see if it'll pop with the trend and stay with the trend. OK, those are the three that we're currently in. And um, all right, Jinko Solar. I've messed with this one before. This thing seems to just stall out. So I'm a little wary of 
Uh, right now, I'm looking at buying puts uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, that's the trade idea, is to buy puts tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll have the entry down in here. We'll have the entry on here. Uh, we've got the 10 below the 21, below the 55, below the 233. So all of the moving averages are aligned to the downside. You're getting this downward, you know, lower lows, lower highs in this little move. This almost looks like a little bit of a head and shoulders within this larger head and shoulders, although I know this is a stretched out head and shoulders. But be that as it may, Jinko Solar's had a heck of a run and it hasn't corrected this entire move yet. So we'll see if that's where we're getting. Now this still, you know, this could be, this could be some kind of sideways correction after this deep. I mean, we could, we could be uh, in for something else. But right now, the way that the things are lined up, I'm going to play it to the downside and uh, just have my stop in there. So we'll see if we can... Um, Catch a little move to the downside on Jinko Solar. Um, solar stocks have been, you know, struggling a little bit. There's been some stuff, you know, with the uh, little bit of the trade war type stuff on uh, going on tariffs and things like that related to uh, solar components. Okay, the next one is so fun. Where is it? There it is. So fun. All right, so this is a little bit of a low price stock, but it's. It's in that $10 to $20 range. It's above $10, so I thought, you know, what the heck. We'll go ahead and, and, and look at this. It's kind of an interesting stock. It gets a lot of activity. The 10-day or the 50-day uh, moving average of the volume is 8.4 million shares. So that's a lot of trading activity in this stock. And right now, we had this big move, and I was tempted to, to uh, try to get an entry, and I wouldn't have got the entry on Friday anyway. But after I get a big, what I call a WR7 bar, widest range bar over the last seven days, I get wary because a lot of times when you have a big wide ranging bar like this, uh, the move's going to pause or, you know, stall out for a while. So I'm going to have an entry point to get in. Uh, it's going to be above uh, the high here. Uh, or a higher price. So we'll we'll look. I have the details. And again, this looks like it's trying to move to the to the high side. It's broken this downward trend line. I think we had a bigger, um, you know, correction in here, and it may be trying to uh, to turn and uh, get another impulsive move to the upside. So that's the way we're going to play it, and we'll be looking for that on So Fun. And um, the next one is Whole Foods. Been watching Whole Foods for a while and it started to get this little pop in here and I was a little wary that, you know, it gets choppy in the beginning when it's trying to get going. But I think we could have enough in here right now. I'm going to look to try to get an entry to get some calls. Whole Foods has pulled back quite a bit on this pullback. Um, and you can see and it, it's corrected this, this big move. And I don't think I have, let me just turn this into a weekly chart just so we can, we can see. Um, and when you look at the correction on this, this is a semi-log, so it doesn't look like it's corrected a whole lot. But when I put on the retracement in here and say, well, what did it retrace of this entire move? It's retraced almost 50% of the actual dollar value. Okay, so it's probably around 45% or so, and you know, and that that may be enough. Um, let's turn this back to the daily, and that may be enough. And so right now, and when you look at this, this what I'm counting five waves down, and when you look at this fifth wave. There is divergence in here. The price went to a lower low here on the fifth wave, but the RSI did not go lower. The DI minus did not go lower, in the, in the higher, and the DI plus did not continue to weaken. The demand index did not go lower. So on all three of these indicators that I'm using, uh, they're confirming that this point might be a low. And then when it breaks the trend line like it did in here, it looks like it's trying to turn, so I'm gonna, you know, take a chance on it. We'll uh, we'll look at an entry tomorrow for tomorrow morning. Okay, those are the three trade ideas. Let's talk about the three I am watching. Apache. I've been waiting for this to pull back, and it has pulled back. I still think that we're doing an ABC mainly because we got these three waves in here, and um, I just don't think it's corrected enough, but. 
it may uh, I mean now I tell you if I get a close above the blue line the 10 uh, I may change my tune that's why I'm watching this for tomorrow to see if it closes above that 10 uh, because it's you know it has done what could be a, a, a little C wave I'm just not sure it's done enough and here's what I'm looking at I'm, I'm looking at the this third wave here okay looking to see how much has it corrected and it hasn't even corrected 23.6 percent which is usually the minimum I'm looking for now I'll admit it got close there but then when it looked like this might be a flat I thought well okay C is going to come back down here and come at least down to here and then come at least down to 23.6 uh, percent and still hasn't done it it bounced off that 55 now look now some people say well how can you use the 55 and you know other people most people use the 50 well look how it came right to the 55 okay and it literally intraday bounced right off the 55 so you know you use 50 that's fine I use 55 it's fine um, you know the, the key is you use what you use and just get used to it and um, and just stick with it so you don't alter it alt, you know going back and forth the 55 is going to be close to a 50 I am using simple moving averages on this this 233 55 21 those are all simple the the blue line is a 10 exponential kind of my trigger line okay so that's the one we're watching on Apache and uh, the next one I'm gonna uh, rack space this one is really interesting to me and um, I we got really close to we didn't get a close above the 10 here uh, but we're very close and I, I just think I think we po got a possible head and shoulders I think that Rackspace has corrected this entire move in here this is I think this is all the trading yes it is okay so again let me take a quick look at the weekly and again what did we retrace it's corrected I said 71% I think I actually did the math of this four-year rally okay so it's corrected 71% of the four-year rally in terms of the numbers and then it, you'll see it if I take the semi log off yes it's corrected 71% okay so it's just the I like the semi log because it keeps the moves in proportion uh, in terms of the percentage moves okay so given that okay let's look even on a weekly yes we're getting some divergence in here on this move down here okay on the RSI and so let's go back to the daily okay so given that we're getting some divergence in here then when I do draw a trend line here this looks like a possible head and shoulders and here's what I'm talking about okay Okay. Now, so this has got to come back up, but it's kind of interesting that we're getting this 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 symmetry like this to the outside, and we're getting this symmetry to the outside. So this looks like a mirror image of this, just in the other way, the other direction. I like it when I start to see symmetry. Now the head didn't have a lot of symmetry; it just kind of kind of leaned to the right a little bit, but that's okay. Here's the thing I liked about the head coming off the head huge move big gaps volume that's telling you that's a lot of buying okay and and uh, that's impulsive that's impulsive move that's what makes me think that that might be the first move and so now we've got this pullback in here and that's the other thing it makes me think about let's go and take a look let me blow it back up just a little bit <laughs> And we we'll take a look at the retracement of this move, and it's retraced over 61.8% of this move. So of this move from here to here of one, it's pulled back over 61.8%. And on a on a number two wave, a sec, second wave pullback, we're usually looking for at least 50 to 61.8%. And a lot of times that first move is a sharp move pullback. So. That's what tells me the minimum pullbacks here. We're getting divergences here. This looks like a head and shoulders bottom. And now it looks like it's trying to turn. So even though I've got moving averages aligned negatively with the 55 below the 233 and the 21 below the 55 and the 10, all of these other things are kind of leading me to say this 
looks like it might be trying to turn so that's why I'm watching this really closely okay so now and then the last one we're going to take a look at is Cena and and Cena is a similar type thing to a couple of these I think it was I think it was similar to so fun I'm not really sure I think we've got a little turning action going on and and, uh, and I think we've corrected enough this has been a big complex number two correction uh, it looks like to me because I think we had five waves up here to a wave one and then this got very complex in this move but it did not go to a lower low here okay so it hasn't taken out that low and now it's trying to turn and so that's why I'm thinking that this is a wave two wave one wave two and that we could be starting a wave three to the upside so um, I'm going to be watching this closely to see if we get a close above the 10 and then we start and we get this nice little pivot trend line pivot setup. I like to see this kind of a pivot setup because you break this. It's kind of a cup and handle type deal. You break this, you can launch to the next resistance area. OK. And uh, and so then and then you look for the next resistance area. So. Right now, this is on my watch list. Okay, that's it. That's nine stocks. That's enough for today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night with uh, the action on the first day and uh, an update on the trade ideas, and we'll kind of go from there. All right, this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. If you felt like this video helped you and was, was, uh, was beneficial, please share this on social media. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. You get uh, updates on posts that I put out access to the trade ideas webpage with the detail on these trade ideas and uh, you can download the free pdf i've got for you just your first name and email is all you need all right this has been joe for beyond the chart and we will see you on the next video we'll see you tomorrow night